I made the decision to move my desk from my bedroom because I just found it to be so distracting having the bed literally two steps away from my desk and it was just like, it was a struggle for me to be productive Hi, my name is Kelly and I'm an artist Today we are redecorating my desk area slash office Okay, so this is what I've done so far I moved my desk from that room to this room Another thing that I've done so far is I painted these walls white Well, half of this side and then half of this side is white because I couldn't finish it I love to paint, it's just the movement of doing the same thing over and over again and, and on four different walls was just the thought of that is just, was just exhausting so so i went ahead and just did half of this wall and half of, of this wall in the back actually you can see i don't know if you can see the screen right there that wall is still gray <laughs> this wall has not been painted yet i remember going to home depot and i thought oh yeah i'm just here for white paint there were like a million colors to choose from there were so many different shades of white and then on top of that they were like so what finish do you want and i'm like what does that mean so i got the one where you can clean it off i think that's eggshell i think don't come for me y'all i don't know anything about paint if you're talking about acrylic paint for my canvases i can tell you that i've been working on this for like the past two weeks but it's time to speed it up i'm gonna go to home depot really quick because i just realized that i don't have enough paint to continue painting the remaining of the walls oh shoot i don't have the card the color dang it Ugh. i think i took a picture on my phone though so i don't know i hope hopefully i have it in my phone thank you thank you so funny because I'm wearing the exact same outfit that I was wearing last time that I was painting the walls. This is my painting shirt. That's why it has all these stains. I'm gonna put aluminum foil on this thing because washing this thing is gonna take a long time. I finally finished painting the walls. Ugh! It took it took so long. Oh my goodness. And I only had to do two walls. So now this side is finished as well as this side. These shelves over here, it was so hard to paint over these shelves because it took me so long to go over the edges and make sure that I didn't paint the shelves. I just made it three times more difficult than it already was but it's fine it's finished i'm happy this place is coming together now because i can finally create a little bit more content at the moment i haven't really been on social media like that because well i've been trying to get this out of the way so i can have a nice you know setup and just shoot my content a little bit more in this area where my desk is also look at this y'all I, last video, I went to the thrift store and I bought this cup for $3. Well, technically it was like less than that because I had a coupon. It was like $2. I switched the straw and even with the original straw, I noticed that it started making a sound. And I was like, what is that? <laughs> what is that? Oh my gosh. I was so mad. I was like, two dollars to waste. I want to see if I can put the shelves on the wall today. 
and see if I can start putting some decoration. So I decided to spray paint some shelves and this is how they turned out. This is the first one. Both of these shelves have been thrifted. This one was originally it was a white color. When I first got it, I decided to paint over it with acrylic paint like you know my regular paint I decided to take out my small brush and just you know paint all over it and it looked ugly so now you know I have this really nice color now and I think it looks really nice and then I also spray painted this other one this apple green color I, th I think that's what the spray paint said yeah it's green apple <laughs> Why does it look, oh my gosh. Am I, am I crazy or does it look patchy on the screen? <laughs> oh my gosh, that looks terrible. It doesn't look like that in person though. You know what? This is gonna be above my head. If I can't see it, it's not there. I've got to put these I was putting in the screw and I completely forgot that I needed to put these stupid things What are these called? Do not ask me what they're called I just, I just know you have to if you want to put something with like a little bit of weight on the shelf That's all I know I did that. I did that. I saw this trick on TikTok and I want to try it. <laughs> My last piece of tape. These right here, that's all me right there. So this is how it's looking so far on this side of the wall. It, these shelves are gonna be next to my monitors right here on the left. Pretend you don't see the holes. I can finally start on the fun part and that is decorating. Here's how it's looking. So you can see up here, there's nothing, 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 nothing. Well, there's a bunch of stuff here. Yeah, let's get to decorating because I'm so excited.
time let's do a tour <laughs> okay so let's start on this side i have my camera like i showed you before i'm not sure if i'm gonna keep them there or if i'm gonna eventually put them in a bag but for now that's fine there this shelf over here is looking a little bit dry so that sh could also potentially change in the future this little area i love i have a little sunny plushie and then i also have this little digital drawing that i made of my cat so cute this drawing is a pen drawing that I did a long time ago. This frame over here was originally pink and I spray painted it black. I recently got into books so, so far these are like the only ones I fully finished. That's why they're here. But also I love how they look. This one right here, I had to get this. I did not know they were making these. Now I have to buy all of them. This is my current read. And then I have this little trinket. I don't know what to put in here, honestly, but it's a cat, so I had to get it. <laughs> and then I have my Puss and Loose. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have my Puss and Boots. Shout out to my brother-in-law. He gave me this one. Um, my camera equipment in this basket, some sewing materials here. And then down here, I have some sketchbook and notebooks that I use every day down there it's hard to see but i have two different printers this one is a black and white and this one is a color one but i don't like how i can't really access them really well then again i don't really use them every day so i guess it's fine for now this is a digital one painting and then a color uh, pencil and marker over there these are my paint markers and then in this locker there's nothing I don't have anything <laughs> i have additional microphones little fluffy thingy um, chargers this one is for my different cameras and then mini tripods over here over here i have a bunch of my other markers just random things and then over here this little thing i thrifted it a couple weeks ago also and i have more markers this is a candle that i use from time to time this is specifically made for pets and i love the little cut out right here each one of them has a little basket <laughs> and then i have this little crate over here that holds my micro sd and regular sd cards this is my daily notebook that i use i write every idea that i have for anything i have this little couch over here i love it i love that i can just close it up and the notebook is not gonna get damaged or anything and i don't have to carry a lot of pencils or pens or whatever because I have this one right here that has all of the colors that I ever need. Over here I have my Kindle which I need to buy a cover for because it's very much needed. And then the bottom one is my iPad. And the two shelves up there, the same thing, you saw me decorated. I have all of my inks here which I'm really excited to use soon. I haven't used them in a while so... Up there I have all of my brushes and then, oh yeah, I still didn't print out any of the pictures. This is the painting that I did in the video that I did a couple of weeks back. And then over here, not much going on. This is just me and Eric's little space. We have a little Carl and Ellie moment. <laughs> That's just some random artwork that I found in the thrift store. But it's really nice. I didn't show much on this side, but the only thing that changed here was the curtain. The curtain used to be black, now it's green. Over here, I have this mirror. I love it. It reflects the light really well. I have this reusable cup where I can put coffee. So if I don't wanna, if I just wanna heat up the water, I just take it out. It's pretty cool. This is one of my favorite mugs, so I keep it up here. All of my tea is here. Well, it's just one kind. Peppermint. <laughs> That's all I drink. <laughs> That's the only flavor I drink. Here in this little fancy jar, guess what I have? I have Pepto-Bismol little tablets because stomach problems. Over here, I have my weekly planner. I used to keep this in my bedroom, but now I brought it over here because it's so much more convenient to have it here. And last but not least, I have this little corner that I love so much. I have all of my decoration up here and then more books over here. I have here in this Hello Kitty jar, I have more tea. My everyday jacket and my everyday tote bag. And last but not least, the little painting of the light switch. <laughs> but yeah, this is how the room is looking now and I am 
in love this room is gonna continue to change a whole lot in the future i just know it but for now i think it's pretty good it's functionable it's clean it's organized and it's spacious hopefully now that i'm finished i can make a little bit more art but yeah please if you have any suggestions on how to set up certain things maybe i can switch things around i don't know please let me know also i don't know if i should paint these shelves like the way i did over there I don't know if I should paint these and then also the cables that are under my desk I don't know how to fix them I don't know how to like make them look neat so if you have any ideas on how to do that please let me know but yeah I'm open to any suggestions on anything I'm done I can't believe I'm done but yeah that's about it thank you so much for watching if you made it this far you are the best if you haven't joined the Inky Goose family please do so thank you I'll see you next time. Bye. Tell them to join the Inky Goose family.